Hi, I'm Jorge and I'll talk about the compatibility of R filaments to sport antennas and Ubiquiti radios. If you want to know how to connect your Ubiquiti radio with R filaments to sport antennas then this is the right video to watch. Twistport is RF Elements proprietary waveguide connector with practically zero signal loss. It has superior mechanics for extremely easy and quick radio installation. If you're interested to know more about the Twistport ecosystem, then check out our Twistport ecosystem intro video here. Currently, we have 14 antennas with Twistport connector working in the 5 GHz band, 7 symmetrical horn sector antennas with beam width from 30 to 90 degrees, 3 asymmetrical horn sector antennas with beam width of 30, 60 and 90 degrees. Remember, you can use beam switch feature and make 30 degree beam width into 20 degrees beam width. Ultra horn, a 24 dBi gain and 15 degrees beam width narrow sector or point-to-point -point antenna. And Ultra Dish Series, parabolic dish antennas for point-to-point -point and CP applications with 21, 24 and 27 dBi of gain. Now, most Ubiquiti radios use coaxial connectors while RF Elements Twistport is a waveguide connector. The first question is, how do you connect Ubiquiti radios with any of these antennas? And how do you connect waveguide radios such as ISO station, Prism station or even LTU with Twistport? The simple answer is, you have to use a Twistport adapter. Twistport adapter, or simply TPA, converts the radio interface into a Twistport metal connector. If you're interested in how exactly TPA works and what's inside the product, check the video here. For connecting Ubiquiti radios, these are the options we offer. Let's have a closer look on each one of them. TPA PAF is compatible with 5 radios. Both generations of Rocket Prism, both Air Fire generations and LTU Rocket. It has a neat GPS antenna compartment protecting it from bad weather and wildlife chewing on the cable. TPA ADAP IS works with all three waveguide based Ubiquiti radios Prism Station 5AC, ISO Station 5AC, and ISO Station M5. If you have some beta LTU units with a waveguide port, this should work as well. TPA RM5 works with the Legacy Rocket M5, TPA R5AC with Rocket 5AC Lite. For all legacy products, which you can see in the text, we recommend using the TPA SMA, which provides a connectorized interface to be used with pigtails. This is a kind of universal interface, so you have to mount the radio separately from the antenna structure. Speaking of mounting, the installation of all coaxial radios is practically identical. Push the radio into the adapter until a click tells you it's securely connected. Then insert into the antenna twist port, rotate and another click lets you know the radio is mounted and connected at the same time. How cool is that? The waveguide radio adapter is composed of two parts easily assembled, converting the radio waveguide to the twist port waveguide with the same easy installation. Twist, click and you're done. Here is the compatibility matrix once again for your reference. Please note this may evolve with time and new SKUs coming from each radio manufacturer. For most up-to-date information, click the link to get the compatibility sheet ready for print and sharing if you prefer the hard copy. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.